Hey, welcome back to Triple R. We have a PlayStation 2 I picked up from a thrift store for 20 bucks. It was in pretty good condition. It was just very, very dusty. You can see here I already wiped it off a little bit. I had a video recorded earlier where you could see how dusty it was, but for some reason it didn't record, so I don't have that. But we're going to continue to clean it off. These memory cards are also really dusty. It looked like it was like in a wood shop or something. It was like a lot of just light brown sand paper looking dust on it. So I went to Dollar Tree to get my cleaning supplies. So I'm going to clean it with Dollar Tree stuff. Got some Dollar Tree baby wipes here. And got some Dollar Tree Q-tips. Uh, some disinfectant wipes. And that's what I'm going to use to clean this up. You see all that dust in the vent area there and then the controller ports. So it's going to quick wipe down over the top. As you can see it didn't affect the vent hardly at all. So I'm going to figure out a way to get in there, which I eventually did. Pretty good condition. This power cord was also very dirty. Alright, Q-tips. But they are not the traditional kind of Q-tips. They have this large end. I wanted toothpicks, because I had an idea for toothpicks and the wipes, which I'm going to use Q-tips for. But as you can, you're going to see here, this Q-tip end is way too big. So even trying this, you can still get through these long crevices okay. I might not passing car. So I went over the vents with it. It didn't work at all. And I think, see, almost no dirt came off at all. Now up here, it did get a little bit better. I got, of course, the memory card ports because they opened up, so that was fine. But that, a little bit of effect, not much. I'm going to take a wipe here, kind of push in, but yeah, much better result doing it that way. I'm going to do each one all the way across. Try to get a little bit in the controller ports there. You can see they're pretty dusty as well. It's looking a little bit better already. I did test this before I bought it. We have plugins there. You can plug it in. Uh, the power button came on. The CD tray came out, so I was like, okay, it's fine. Now to get in these these vents, I cut the Q-tip. So I'll just have this hard end here. It's still kind of big, so I'll wrap the baby wipe around it. Kind of make it a softer end, but it's too big. This is where that toothpick would have helped, I think. Or you could probably use like a, a doll knife to get in there. A thin, a thin knife along with a wipe. So I found out, yep, it's a little bit too big. It's a little bit of dirt, not too much. So what I did, I flattened it out, flattened the wipe out here, and then each one, you can hear that kind of scribble back and forth. Not too deep in, it's pretty light on each one. So this took a little while. Because <laughs> you go over each one, you look, See how much did or did come off or didn't. So, did all those. Back at the fan here. It was pretty dusty. Again, same thing. I had a Q-tip idea. These Q-tip ends are way too big. It's not going to work. So, I always do an initial like dust off of the external first. So, that's why you saw it was a, a little wet there already. But same thing, same idea. Gonna go in each slot and try to hit the fan blade there. And get that dust off. Here I thought the fan would spin, but there's on the spring, so it doesn't spin. So you gotta go, be a little meticulous, go through each one. And you probably could get it like 85%, 80-85%. Uh, I just did it once or twice, probably got around 50%, but it is cleaner than it was. And like I said, initially, Unfortunately, the first pictures didn't show up because it was very, very dusty. So I'm going to tuck it in. I miss these two top ones here. So I can go back. A quick scribble motion. Each one. And I pushed them all the way in because I thought if I could kind of twist it when I pulled the cloth out, it would hopefully get a little more excess dust. So those fans are pretty much all the way dusted over. So 
as I do a couple times. Like I said, the more you do it, of course, the more it's come, gonna come off. But I'm not super invested in this PlayStation. Just want to see what I can do with some Dollar Tree cleaning, kind of cleaning product pickups. Not really cleaning products, I guess. More of a cleaning hack. Now the ports weren't too bad. Like the plug-in port and uh, the AV port was kind of fine. Give a quick wipe. No, they weren't too dusty at all. The good thing is you can see, like, you do have some progress on the, uh, the wipe there. So you can see the dirt. So you're like, okay, at least I'm doing something. Try to get a little bit cleaner than it was. Kind of hard to tell, but it is cleaner. Like I said, the wipe does show evidence that you are cleaning some stuff off. Just a quick once over on these ports over here. Because I'm back there, so why not? Alright. These side crevices, just like the front. I'm gonna take a Q-tip, a wipe, put it in the middle, quick over over wipe, the external, and then kind of go one up, one down, one up, one down on each one. And that works pretty good. That cleans it pretty good. So you do that on all the edges through, you know, front, back, side, and side. As you can see there, the vents are cleaner than they were. Saw a couple more, so I was like, I'll try to clean it a little bit more. Definitely better than it was. And again, you can just keep on, keep on doing it until you get well, this one. I would say maybe 70% or so cleaner because the edges are going to be kind of gunked up. Flip it over. The bottom was pretty clean. Just give it a quick wipe. So there's some more vents on the bottom here. It's kind of hard to see. But they were really hard to clean because of the way this is shaped. Same idea. Cut the Q-tip. Put the wipe down. But it has this like 90 degree angle. So it's a little harder to like clean these. So I got them okay. I got them kind of cleaned okay, I would say. So, same process. Stick it in. Do that scribble motion. Not too hard or not too deep into the machine or the vent. Alright. Wipe it off here. It's kind of hard to see, so you, you have to feel to so click in the vent. Also, not too hard. Now, this was the longest part of the cleaning, was doing all these vents. Uh, that's why I skipped that whole big row of them. So I was like, you get the idea. That's what you can see here, which I did on each one of those. All right, looks a little bit better. A quick wipe. USB ports were fine. That's what we used. Baby wipes, Q-tips, and disinfectant wipes. It looks really like wet, kind of wet right there, but it dries off very quick, those those wipes. They do dry off. They are a little more moist than I, I like. like. There's some uh, towel residue. <laughs> on that PlayStation thing right there on the symbol. Get rid of that. So I plugged it in after it was all said and done. It did work. Popped in the game, read the game. So so how much is that for the cleaner there? We got what three things? All right, and then you probably have scissors. So three things to get an okay cleaning done on some of these thrift store consoles. There's our bottom vent. Like I said couldn't get it as clean. There's a 
little bit of dirt in those game ports, but not bad. Not bad. Alright, there it is. Thanks for watching Triple R. Have a good day or night, wherever you are.